Welcome to iBax. In today's video, we will be creating a 3D AR game in Unity for Android using Google VR plugin for Unity. So without further ado, let's get started. Open the Unity and now create a new project. Let's name it VR Demo. Hit on Create Project. So, before we get into creating something, we need to first change some settings in unity hit on file build settings and now go to player settings make sure that the platform has been selected to android and hit on switch platform now close this window and on the right side change your company name to let's say ibax and also your product name the same thing should be done with the package name let's select the minimum API level to lollipop now go to extra settings and select virtual reality supported and add google cardboard after doing this, we need to first import the Google Cardboard package for Unity. The link for it will be provided in the description. Now we need some environment for a player to move in. You can create it on your own or download one environment from the asset store. I will download one from the asset store for now. In 3D models, select environment and then landscapes. This seems to be a good one. Hit on import. Ok now we will select any of the built in scenes from this package So here we have 5 terrains We need only one for now We will select 4 of them and delete them Ok so now we have the terrain, we need to add the player. Create empty, rename this as player. Under a player we need to add a main camera. So create empty, rename it as camera and tag it as main camera. After we have added the camera under the player. We need to add the control script to the player. Select assets, import package and characters. Now we need to add character controller to our player. After adding this, we need to add three other GVR components to the scene. These GVR components are needed for the VR support of the scene. The first one is the editor emulator, then GBR event system, and 
and the controller main. After adding them, we need to add GBR reticle pointer to the player. And under the camera prefab, add GBR reticle pointer prefab. So we are done with the basic setup for now and we need to add the movement script to our player. Create new C sharp script and rename it as look. I will provide the link of the script in the description down below. Let's open it. So what the script actually does is if you are looking straight the player will move in the forward direction wherever your head is positioned and if you look down the player will stop so let's add the script to a player and reposition a player to any position appropriate let's hit play Oops, so I forgot to add the camera script to the camera prefab. Yeah. Now let's hit play. So yes, we are done with this. So once our scene is ready, we can save it and build it on Android device. So connect your Android device and hit command B.